a nucleic acid test. There are several ways of amplification, including polymerase chain reaction. Virtually all nucleic acid amplification methods and detection technologies use the specificity of Watson-Crick base pairing. Single-stranded probe or primer molecules capture DNA or RNA target molecules of complementary strands. Therefore, the design of probe strands is highly significant to raise the sensitivity and specificity of the detection. However, the mutants which form the genetic basis for a variety of human diseases are usually slightly different from the normal nucleic acids. Often, they are only different in a single base, e.g., insertions, deletions, and single nucleotide polymorphisms. In this case, imperfect probe target binding can easily occur resulting in false positive outcomes such as mistaking a strain that is commensal for one that is pathogenic. Much research has been dedicated to achieving single base specificity. Nucleic acid sequence to a target, strand from the disease organism being detected. The disease strand sticks tightly to the exposed part of the long primer strand, and then little by little, displaces the short, protector, strand from the probe. In the end, the short protector strand is not bound to anything, and the unbound short primer is detectable. The rest of this section gives some history of the research needed to fine-tune this process into a useful test. In 2012, Yin's research group published a paper about optimizing the specificity of nucleic acid hybridization. They introduced a toehold exchange probe. P is released and hybridized product XC is formed. The standard free energy the reaction forwards, but the standard free energy increases to be less thermodynamically favorable. The standard free energy difference is significant enough to give obvious discrimination in yield. The discrimination factor Q is calculated as the yield of correct target hybridization divided by the yield of spurious target hybridization. Through the experiments on different toehold exchange probes with five correct targets and 55 spurious targets with energetically representative single base changes. Yin's group concluded that discrimination factors of these probes were between 3 and 100 plus with the median 26. The probes function robustly from 10 degrees Celsius to 37 degrees Celsius, from 1 m to 47 m, and with nucleic acid concentrations from 1 nm to 5 m. They also figured out the toehold exchange probes work robustly even in RNA detection. Further researches have been studied thereafter. In 2013, Seelig's group published a paper about fluorescent molecular probes which also utilizes the toehold exchange reaction. This enabled the optical detection of correct target and SNP target. They also succeeded in the detection of SNPs in E. coli-derived samples. In 2015, David's group achieved extremely high on the design architecture of the probe and sink and on the reagent concentrations and assay conditions. Their model succeeded in a median 890 filled selectivity for 44 cancer-related DNA SNVs, with a minimum of 200, which represents at least a 30-fold improvement over previous hybridization-based assays. In addition, they applied this technology to assay low VAF sequences from human genomic DNA following PCR as well as directly to synthetic RNA sequences. Based on the expertise, they developed a new PCR method called blocker displacement amplification. It is a temperature-robust PCR which selectively amplifies all sequence variants within a roughly 20 nt window by 1,000-fold over wild-type sequences, allowing easy detection and quantitation of hundreds of potentials variants originally at is less than or equal to 0.1%. Allele frequency. BDA achieves similar enrichment performance across anneal temperatures ranging from 56 degrees Celsius to 64 degrees Celsius. This temperature robustness facilitates multiplexed enrichment of many different variants across the genome, and furthermore enables the use of inexpensive and portable thermocycling instruments for rare DNA variant detection. BDA has been validated even on sample types including clinical cell-free DNA samples collected from the blood plasma of lung cancer patients.